Hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here. So we're going to do a few updates on the Embao Fori communal. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to get the tank out and look in the, uh, the hole at the back. But we're going to start off by feeding my uh, Nandu Tripepe. Let's see if uh, this girl is hungry, I'm sure she is. I've had her since the sling. And she's uh, put on a lot of size in the last uh, year or so. Okay, here we go. As you can see the colours definitely coming out of the spider now. Can't wait for this one to mold again. They get to big sizes as well these days. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get in there closer. Definitely a spider I recommend in the collection. We've got a when you look at that the blonde hair on the spider, it's just um it's quite a weird colour, it's like a pinky blonde. But an adult female really is a, a sight to to look at. And she goes laying down that silk. They are known to be a little bit skittish. They're also known to flick hairs. This one was rather run. I've never had a flick hairs at me at all. Just always bolt. But once they uh, they realise there's no danger. Oh yeah, yeah they come out again. Nice display spider these. Gonna turn them out for us. Yes, she is. Very nice to film this spider as well. Very easy filming. And I do like my old worlds. I do like my pokies and tree spiders and, and what have you, but some of the great display spiders are very good for filming. And this is one of them, especially when they get to a size where they don't really care what's going on around them. And I've said it before, but if they're comfortable in their enclosure, They'll always just perform for you. All my enclosures of live plants in there. Hides. Just try and get the natural habitat of the spider. Sometimes I like those bother them, but. You can see that's not bothering the spider. Okay. I've been wanting to get a takedown on my tail and swip scorpion for ages now. I've been preparing for this moment. 
Now, I've had the lid open for ages. The, the light is on very low. And she looks hungry. So let's see if she'll take a cricket down. And let's see if we can get a capture. Here we go. We it then. Maybe it's too big. Let me get a smaller cricket. I've got some little micro crickets here. I'm just going to chuck them on the log if I can. Oh, they're in there, but. Hmm. I reckon we just missed the. The cricket's going around now. Oh, was that a takedown? Yes, it was a takedown. This is the uh, best I can do at the moment. I've had to turn the enclosure around. Unfortunately, it's in that horrible plastic where you can't really see much through it. But that's the best footage I've got of it since I've got this uh, whip scorpion, Howlers whip scorpion. I'm not sure if that takedown was captured on camera. But at least we've got something. I've turned the light up a little bit. I really don't like light. You can see the little jaws working there. They're like the scorpion jaws. So I managed to take the log out of the enclosure just to show you her feeding. She seems much calmer now she's got some food. So it was really uncomfortable for me because I was just my wrist is <laughs> twisted a little bit trying to get a good angle I'm actually holding this log I'll try and get as much footage as possible before she goes and that's it good She dropped it. I think she's uh, ready to go back now. But it just shows how alien like these are. Unbelievable. So fascinating as well.
Okay, let's put it back in the enclosure. So this is the uh, back of the enclosure of my Balfouria communal. Basically what I've done, I've just taken the tank out, turned it around and put it back in. Let's see if we can uh, see what's going on back there, because um, obviously I've got a mature male amongst that lot and we've witnessed uh, breeding. So let's uh, have a look at the back. And, uh, okay, so I've just stuck the torch at the side. To the left is a female, just wandering in the, just going out by the light there. And to the right is the male. And other than that, there's nothing much I can see. It's just too much web in the way. But that goes all the way back there. Very hard. Oh, there's another female just there. Can't see no egg sacs or anything yet, though. And that's uh, all I can show you, I'm afraid, on that one. But I'll be sure to uh, keep an eye for any egg sacs. I'll get some footage, hopefully. So yeah, much the same with my um, Pugnaferia Subfusca Lowland Communal. There's nothing much to see at all in here. Um, I've only witnessed them out a couple of times. As far as I can see, they're all still in there, but they're all bundled up together. In there somewhere, there's still a cricket in there as well. I did uh, stick in a couple of crickets, they've all gone apart from one. So uh, again, what I might have to do with this lot is, it's hard to tell whether they're molting or not. I know I've definitely had some molts. I've definitely had some molts in there because I've dragged a few out. And now I'm getting big as well, there's a big female in there. Uh, so again, we have to, this is a waiting game, this is, I might give them a rehouse just to see what they look like. Don't want to disturb them too much though. So yeah, this would be one for the future. So I'm sorry I can't really show you much on this one at the moment. So yeah, that is about it then, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll get back to you with another video soon. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you later.